how I found out my entire decade relationship was a lie. So in 2012, after they sent me home school early for throwing pencils at the teacher, it was not good. I remember my aunt came to my house and she was like, you need to become a better man. Mind you, I'm only five years old, so whatever. Uh, and then anyway, like three days later, um, I'm at the playground and I'd always wanted to do the monkey bars. I never like built up the courage, but I actually one day finally did. And so one day I do the monkey bars at the playground, at the temple at playground in New York City, and I fall. I, I, I remember the pain to this day. I, my, my knee was, it was gashing, it was, it was not good. I, I, ooh, I, and anyway, my caregiver, my um, nanny who was looking at me after the time was using the public, you know, the restrooms in the parks. So I was just there screaming and wailing and it was not good by any means. And all of a sudden I see this little blonde boy come marching over and I never met this kid. I, I, and anyway, he comes over, I'm screaming and wailing. He mocks me, I guess that's what I'm, yeah. So he yells and he mocks. And then his mom comes over, a blonde, skinny, I could have sworn she had a whole hospital with her in her purse. She had the bandages, the creams. She had one of those like finger stints, still things. I don't know what they're called. And anyway, she fixes me up. My nanny comes out of the uh, public restroom and notices what happened. You know, I'm all taken care of. So anyway, that probably happened in like July of 2012. And so anyway, that September of 2012, guess who I see at my school? That same kid. He actually was in my class sitting right next to me, you know, I started going to his house, he started going to my house, it was a very strong friendship, and then I felt very comfortable, and I actually started doing a lot better at school. A couple years later, March of 2018, he comes to me saying that he has some birthday money, about $16,000, and that he wants to take me to Paris, Spain, and then round that trip up with Universals in California. I'm aghast, I'm like, this is ridiculous. The next day after this, um, I go to school and I have my list with me. I wrote on a piece of paper because uh, my mom wouldn't let me bring my iPad to school, which is whatever. And I say, okay, I have this thing. And he's like, well, actually, I don't think we can go. I said, what? He said, yeah, I think we have to postpone it. What? He said that he was sick and that he thought that he had pneumonia uh, and that he had to go to tennis camp. And he was throwing out all these like weird excuses like that his mom like was starting to work at an art gallery. I, it was, it was, he was throwing out anything he could. And so I was like, whatever. That same night I go to my dad, I tell him everything that happened, that the disappointment of like going on a trip with my friend. And he said, you know, these things happen. You know, life throws these curveballs at us. So I said, okay, whatever. So the very next day, my dad is sitting at the same spot he was the day before when he told me these things happened. And he shows me a, a Instagram photo, <laughs> it's crazy, of, We'll call him, but that was the kid's name. Well, his mom and my aunt. I said, what the is this? Why is my best friend, his mom, and my aunt on in an Instagram photo in what seemed to be Hollywood, because there was a Hollywood sign. And dad said, oh, there must have been a, communica a miscommunication. Um, you know, maybe that there was a mix up. I said, no, this, this, this is not right. And so I, I automatically immediately call my friend. I said, what the going on. He said, oh no, that there was miscommunication, literally quoting, directly quoting my dad. And um, then I asked, I came up the phone. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I asked my dad, what, what is aunt doing there? And apparently he found out through some weird source that there was an extra ticket, which I told him was supposed to be mine and that it was cheaper for her because she was buying a house in California that it was just cheaper and she had to check it out. So, um, and then I call on I said, what is this? She says, oh, sweetie, don't worry about it. I'm just buying a new house. So anyway, fast forward to August of 2021. My then boyfriend was a pool boy for, drum roll please, the mother. He was a pool boy for the mother of my still best friend. And apparently um, in 2012, when I was going on my crazy, you know, misbehaving streak, my aunt had hired this kid and well, he, he hired the, the mom and that mom made sure the kid to be my best friend. In fact, his mom was his manager. Like the manager wasn't even his mom, apparently from what he heard. I never met the mom. The manager was a true and true and tried manager 
my aunt was the best friend of real mom and the manager was hired apparently my aunt of this production company and when they went to Hollywood they went to go scouting out for real big role because apparently my role was an interactive media role so I was actually paid to be my friend I also need to add that my therapist was actually the sister of the manager I thought I had a real friend but when you found out this friend is actually paid for you and then uh, he kind of helped me break up with my boyfriend by saying that I should only focus on myself and that this guy had been cheating on me and apparently that never happened so if you're seeing this You're seeing this I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive you that's uh, pretty awful I don't know who hires somebody to be the best friend even when you're struggling so like I've never really experienced a true friendship but thank you one I don't know uh, I don't know what to do now but I thought that it'd be interesting to share god that's horrific that's so nasty and rude and mentally scarring for a little boy who was clearly going through like some anger issues and you paid some, you went for the whole process of paying someone to pretend to be someone's mum to be someone's mum to a son that you, a confusing chain but god I can maybe like just a bit sympathy side of it I can kind of see why the aunt did it you know make him feel a bit more inclusive and make him calm down and, not ruin his future, whatever, but the fact that they did the whole thing of like making him go to Paris and stuff and let's say, oh, you can go to Hollywood and blah 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 and do this and do that, it's just horrific. And that's gonna really mentally scar him and have no trust issues the rest of his life. This like fake friend made him break up with his boyfriend. How is he ever gonna trust anyone ever again? And you know, as a child, you do remember things, so that's gonna be something in his head for the rest of his life. And like the comments are like literally saying like you were five, you were a child, that's normal child behaviour, shame on the adults. The therapist also being on it, this has to be illegal, whether she's a real therapist or an actress pretending, I'm so sorry for you. And like people are saying like, oh my god, like, I would be so mentally scarred. I'm not gonna lie, it's the wildest story I've ever heard in my life. But he's only young, so you know, he will meet people and if he ever wants to go to college you'll find people who actually care for him. But yeah, I, if my friend at 11 years old went, I had gained 16,000 pounds in birthday money, I'd be like, shut up. <laughs> that's such a lie. I can't believe it. That's just, your aunt paid for your friendship. 